Guys, welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. As you can see, I'm here at Montauk. Finally made it out and uh, it's windy as heck, of course. Had to expect it, but it's a good wind. Hopefully it pulls in some fish. It's an east wind, which is typically one of my favorite winds to fish Montauk, that in the northeast. But yeah, just got the lighthouse right there. And uh, we're gonna be fishing, hopefully underneath the light or somewhere around the light, because uh, I wanna fish deeper water today. And I know there's some deep water right there. Uh, there's some other good spots around the point that I uh, I might also hit, but we got stuck in some traffic, so we're kind of late and uh, we're missing the tide that I wanted to fish. Um, it's a high tide to an outgoing, but we're a little late for that, so I'm probably going to be bouncing around some spots here in Montauk trying to find deep water. I'm glad to be here, and uh, yeah, it's always good to be in Montauk, so let's go. Spiked boots. If you're coming to Montauk, have spiked boots. Well, I guess we made it as far as we can go. Construction's still going on, can't get to the rocks, so we're gonna fish as close to the light as possible. Hopefully get on some fish on that drift. See what happens. Let's go. tried the north side a little bit just we're just uh, I guess northwest of the, the lighthouse I was really hoping to fish underneath but construction is still going on so we're over here uh, we didn't get any bites for about an hour now so I think I'm going to switch over to the south side uh, under Camp Hero or try to fish Turtle Cove if that's open see what happens over there again we're not here when I wanted to be here but we're here though so we got to do what we got to do and see what happens
first fish, baby. Yeah. Down on the south side. Immediately. Got onto some blues. Yeah, baby. Montauk bluefish right in the surf. Surf is nice and green. Nice. All right, ride the wave, buddy. Ride the wave. That's a big blue. <laughs> First fish at Montauk is a fat 12 pound bluefish. Jeez. Ooh. I'm none other than the Joe Bag Swarter. <laughs> Let's go catch more. Another 10 pounder at Montauk. Woo! Wow. This one's a brute. Another one. Another big bluefish here at Montauk. Yeah, baby. All right, come on. He hit it when he when it hit the water and then missed and came back. I'm gonna throw some top order on after this guy. The smallest of the blues so far, probably a nine pounder or so, nine ten. Uh, gonna go switch to. A top order. He hit right when it hit the water, so I'm sure I can get some turn ons with some top order. So let's go. Mwah. Go that way. Oh, 
my border blues at Montauk. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Dude, he chased it for like 15 feet. Splash, 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 splash. Got him. Yeah, baby. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see how big you are. Come on. It's two. Oh, God. There's two blues here. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're tumbling. They're tumbling. Two blue fish. Ah, ah. All right, one's off. Go, buddy. All right, two blues on top water. Whew. In the water, in the water. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. All right, I'm just gonna kick you in. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go the other way. The other way. There you go. Woo. I had two bluefish on that. My first top water bite of the day. Good old wooden plug. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be out here fishing, but uh, we got onto a good bite and it's always good to come out to Montauk and it's always good to catch a fish at Montauk. So today, I don't know if you guys are planning on ever coming out here uh, in the near future, but uh, we were using the seven inch Joe Bag Swatter in yellow right there. And uh, this is a Vanstall VSX 200. You don't need that reel, but it's what I have on. 30 pound braid, 40 pound mono leader, and then we were fishing the 10 foot St. Croix Siege, which is the uh, one to four ounce. And it did, it did good. I was able to pull those fish. I'm glad I had my 10 foot as opposed to the nine foot. I feel like the nine foot is a little bit softer uh, in feel. And I don't know if I would have been able to pull up the giant blue fish. They were 10 to 14 pounds, but with the outgoing tide and the surf, I'm so glad I had the 10 foot being able to pin these fish down and pull them in and uh, have a good drag system with this VSX. As far as that, uh, it was good. You saw me write down in my log the experience that I had here. So in my log, I wrote down the wind direction, the tide, the time that I got here, the time that I got my fish. Uh, a lot of times that doesn't really make too much of a difference. If there's a school of bait fish and there's fish traveling around the beach just trying to get them, wherever those bait fish are going to be is where the giant school is going to be. So just try to fish the correct tide that you know produces fish and fish the rips, fish the holes, the eddies, the pools, whatever it might be. Throw something that's going to work. Uh, you guys saw me, I caught fish on this and then I had that double header on the um, pencil popper which was the only top water bite that I had, but they, they were hitting this right as it hit the water, so that's why I switched over to the, the pencil popper. But it worked, I caught fish. Maybe I'll stay out here a little bit longer. Uh, I know if I go home now, I'm just gonna sit in traffic, so I might as well stay out here somewhere and catch some more fish, or at least attempt to. If this video gets over 200 likes in the first four hours that it's up, we'll do another Montauk video next week and then uh, hopefully get some stripers. That would be really fun, get into a school of stripers during the day. 
we'll see what happens but hit that hit that thumbs up button because uh, it'll help you see the next video that I upload and the next one after that. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. But I gotta go put this log book away so I don't lose it and go catch some more fish. Let's go. this afternoon I could stay for the for the night bite but I don't think I'm going to I am completely exhausted from the last couple days and uh, I caught fish here I had a great time here in Montauk and it I love being here I know I say it a lot but I just love being here sitting right here on the beach the waves crashing there was a big old blitz out there just way too far there's one boat's been on top of it for, I don't know, 45 minutes right out in front of me. Can't seem to catch anything out here, but good time here in Montauk. Like I said, if you guys want more Montauk videos, hit that thumbs up button. It's gonna let me know that you guys wanna see more and uh, I'll definitely do it. I'll definitely do it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support on all the platforms, all the encouraging comments and, and DMs and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. If you want to help support us some more make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up go on over to smoochandrelease.com shop pick up some stuff we got hats sweatshirts t-shirts uh bucktails and all a bunch of bunch of stuff that you can catch the fish on but until until next time guys thank you for watching stay real smooch and release and have some fun on the water i'll see you next time <laughs>